Hey guys, I'm back just doing a video showing you uh, giving you an update on these scooters that I found on a rubbish pile um, yeah they both had flat uh, sealed lead acid batteries in them I have upgraded one of them with a lithium battery as you can see I just wanted to show you how it fits in it sits in there really nice I have that bit of foam on top and then the deck the deck goes on so that's working really well my kids are loving this I've, as I said I've only got one going at the moment so I've got to get the other one going they're just sharing this one at the moment um, 7S 4P pack in there fits in there just beautifully um, so at the moment this is just running without a BMS so I'm going to pull it apart today and put this BMS on it which just arrived from China from AliExpress these are a really neat little BMS that I'm seeing a lot more of at the moment they have a aluminium case on one side there and then a sort of rubbery plastic case around the rest of it um, they're supposed to be IP67 so waterproof submersible for a short time so that's pretty pretty good I reckon they're just in a neat little package so yeah I'll just uh, give you an update as I go along guys I love this clear heat shrink for battery packs it's um, the way I do all my packs you can just see see everything it just works out really nice and it's quite solid this stuff once it's um, shrunk it's quite robust could be the road. There we, go. we are in. I noticed on this pack one thing I forgot to do was to solder these um, fuse wires onto the bus on this side. So I'll do that while I'm while I'm doing the BMS. So yeah, I'll stop it and I'll come. So this BMS has three wires. Has the B minus which is the negative to the battery the P minus which is the discharge negative and the C minus which is the charge negative so it looks like the best spot for just trying to get this camera right the best spot for the BMS to go sorry about shaking the camera is going to be on this end looks like it'll sit in nicely there you can see that the pack sort of sits this way I think it is in the scooter so that's where the BMS will sit in there and as I said the P minus is the discharge negative so I have the B minus connected to the negative of the battery connecting the P minus now to the discharge just tinning this wire and this one and put on a little bit of heat shrink nice day today here it's um, coming to the end of summer it feels like the really hot weather seems to have passed which is not a bad thing it's been a very hot summer so that will go on to here see if I can do that freehand so that heat shrink can go over there now we have our discharge negative, our battery negative, and now our charge negative will go to this, this one here. Okay, just tinning our charge negative wire from the BMS here. And this one will go to here. I just need 
just checking I had my heat shrink. How many of you guys do your best solder joins when you forget the heat shrink? I know I do. Okay, now we've got it done. Okay, we've got our heat shrink. Pull that down. We'll get a heat gun shortly and tidy that up. Getting bits of solder all over our table. Okay, so it looks like we've got it wired. I just need to wire the balance wires and the harness now. So do those, wire those onto the onto the series connections before you plug the the harness in all right i'll just get started with that guys i might need to just trim these wires down they're quite long so i'll do that and i'll come back all right guys um, <clears throat> so just connecting these balance wires now so the black usually start with the negative goes to the negative of the battery and your next one goes to this first series connection next series connection on this side this one this one this one this one and you end on the positive wire with your last wire here so I won't bore you with doing that I'll just go ahead and I've got a couple of these stripped already I cut them to size so that I've got about I can sort of go to roughly the half halfway mark on the bus bar and then when it's all done I just tape them all down to the pack like that but remember to disconnect your battery harness before you do all the balance wires then test them make sure your voltage increases correctly as they go along before you connect it last connect your harness last thing all right guys I'll come back while I'm at it I said I was going to just um, solder these fuse wires onto the bus bar so I'll just go ahead and do that now before I forget okay give it a bit of heat just a dab of solder and that's all it takes this is an 80 watt iron which is probably as small as I would use for soldering battery packs and this sort of thing 100 150 watt might be better especially for soldering onto cells the less time on the cell the better as we know it's a good idea to just take your time while you're doing this process of joining the balance wires here um, make sure you're con connecting them and getting the next the next wire to go in the correct position so I'll just show you what I'll do basically so the plugs going to sit here so I just get the wire run it to where it looks comfortable for halfway down the bus bar snip it off there take the jacket off Give it a quick tin, flip the pack over, put a dob of solder in the middle of the bus bar there, and join it on, like so. Alright guys, that's all my wires connected, so now I just run through, make sure they are all connected correctly. Yep, last one to the positive, let's plug it in. We are done. Let's just check our voltage.
Yep, we've got 25.6 on the charge port and twenty five point six on the discharge wires so we are golden all right guys I shall wrap it up with heat shrink I've heat shrunk all the wires from the BNF BMS already so I'll heat shrink the pack back up and I'll come back and show you what that looks like I just measured this heat shrink if anyone's in interested it's roughly hundred and ninety millimeters wide or seven and a quarter inches so I cut it with say about that much, this is the same amount on the other end, you can't really see that, but yeah, maybe two inches or so on either end that you can fold everything down on the end and I'll just show you that now quickly. One thing I usually do, I don't know if you guys have this tape where you are, but it's really good, it's like clear duct tape but it has the fiberglass weave through it. Um, I just get a bit of that and just tape my balance wires down to the pack try and make it all neat I probably made a couple of these a bit too long but that'll be alright okay something like that I usually do them a bit shorter uh, yeah, that's that. Get rid of all these wires. Now I'll just slide this inside the heat shrink, like so. Probably pretty noisy on the camera. Apologise for that. Just basically like that. I might have cut that a little too long, but it'll be okay. I might trim a bit up here too. Alrighty, so then we just get our heat gun. That BMS should sit there nicely. My positive wire, if you can see that, is only quite short, a positive discharge wire here so I don't want to cover that up with heat shrink so I'll just put a bit of heat onto this end and show you the process. Could have left a bit, a bit more at that end, but that'll be okay. So basically, you just shrink it for the most part, and then make sure you have all your wires where you want them to end up, all neatly out of the way, where you want it, how you want it to be, and then give it a bit more heat. And then heat, heat the end up so it's all soft, like so. And then just while it's soft, just fold it all in so it's all nice and neat like that. A little bit more heat. Again, fold it all in place until it cools and it just stays like that. Hope you can see that. This end. That's pretty good actually. The BMS is pretty much uncovered. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Alright, so that's basically it guys. <clears throat> that's the pack all ready to go. I've got a fuse on both positives.
the discharge and the charge port on this pack just why not um, so let's stick it in the scooter and see how it's all going to go see if I can do this so there's the finished product guys got the pack inside the scooter I've just got a little hole there where the XT60 goes through on this side we have the original switch we don't use the original um, charging port jack there anymore but we do use the switch that turns the LED light on so I just have this um, XT60 basically just poking out so I can that's the charge port I just have it just poking out like that so it doesn't get in the way of anything all those wires sit in there quite nicely okay let's lift up the back wheel action so now if we just put our little pad this is actually a sticky type high density foam that just sits on top like so just protects the battery pack a little bit more and then our deck goes on and the screws go in and it's good to go I'll get it charged up and the kids can have a blast on it this afternoon all right hey guys just thought I'd show you how I'm charging this these scooters um, so I use this 900 watt boost module to charge um, my 52 volt e-bikes and uh, I also use it for this so what we do we just drop the voltage to 28 which is 4 volts per cell do hang on so 28 and that's set at 5.5 amps we'll drop that to say two two and a half amps uh, three amps will do Okay, 25 amp, 28 volts, and 28 volts, 3 amps. Away we go. Just got that plugged into the XT60 there. Alright, see you on the next one, guys. Bye.